What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Trell West and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a high skin fade at home. So in this period, like I feel like I haven't been getting to the barber shop as much as I'd like. It's just kind of like a lot to go to the barber every week like I'd like to. So this is going to be how to achieve a high skin fade at home. Today I'm really excited to show you guys how I cut my hair and how I do it myself. You're going to need a mirror. If you don't have a mirror, I would definitely recommend that you use your phone. That's something that I personally use. I just got this today so I could cut my hair in front of you guys. So before we get started cutting our hair, I really just want to give you guys like an example kind of on my head shape where it is that I like to cut my hair from. So what I like to do is take my ear and go an inch above my hair. So that's really going to be where I start the fade and then I'm going to go one, two, into the one and a half. If you think of a fade from light to dark, it's going to transition from lighter down here to darker at the top where it's a one and a half. So basically what I did was take this detail trimmer at the lowest setting, which is a zero, and I did a skin layer all the way across the back of my head and to the front. There is one technique that I want to make sure that you guys know about when you're cutting your hair, and that is a almost a slight grab, like you're digging just a little bit, so it's almost like a flick. That's what's going to give you the feathering effect for the blending. What I'm going to do is now extend this from a zero, which is all the way pushed up as close as it can get the lowest setting. I'm going to extend that fully just so you have room to always go down and blend into that lower level when you want to finesse and like get your hair a little bit more fine tuned. So extend it all the way up and then that's when you're going to put the guard on. And now we're going to go half an inch above that line that we created and do that again. So this is what it looks like after cutting with the one slash 16 of an inch. Now I'm taking a one blade or 1 8th. So as you can see, the fraction went from 1 16th to now 1 8th or 3 millimeters, and we are going to cut another layer up above the layer that we just did. So by the end of this, you should have three layers cut into your hair. So you have the skin layer, you have the 1 16th layer, and now the fraction is getting um, bigger into a 1 8th. So I just completed layer three. So this is the part in the tutorial where we have to take it up another notch. So as you know, we started with the zero. So now we're gonna go down just a little bit and now we're gonna blend everything together. And this is one of those things where it's gonna get better the more we work on it. So don't, if you think it's like looking bad, it's because you need to keep going. You have to be very careful because when it's like a lower setting, you could really mess it up. So you always wanna have a light, hand that you're like barely blending that line together into your hair. The better you finesse, the better your fade is gonna look. But if you're just rushing through and rah, and you're going way out of control and you don't have control over what you're doing and blending the lines away, you're not gonna have the fade that you're looking for. So make sure that you're taking your time because our hair is shorter, so you gotta make sure that you're finessing, okay? Stay still and really focus. Do not get too happy with this. You will mess your hair up and I do not want you to do that. Like take your time, okay? Nice. So as you can see, our hair is starting to really shape up. So just keep it going. I'm gonna keep finessing and I'll see you guys right after this. All right, now that I finished blending that in, I'm going to put back on the 1 16th and what I'm gonna do, so instead of it being at the top this time like the first time around, I'm gonna just decrease the blade a fourth of the way just to lower the setting because this would be higher. So the more you bring it closer to the bottom, the lower it's going to be. You can really start to see the fade starting to take shape. So just keep finessing it, keep going, and you got this. So now that we got that far, we're almost done. Now we're just gonna blend everything together on the top. So, so now I'm kinda just gonna blend everything down using this just to even the transition from the top part of my hair into what we just cut. Now with the one, I'm going to go against the grain and cut the top of my hair off.
This is just going to blend everything together and make the haircut look really nice. Now we're nearing the end of the tutorial. I'm going to show you guys edging myself up. So to edge myself up, I just have this Philips Norcole trimmer, but I'm going to go ahead and line myself up on the top of my forehead. All right, you guys, are you guys ready to see the finished look? Here it is. This is the result of everything that I showed you guys today. This is how I like to cut my hair. Sound off in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. If you give this video a try, tag me, let me know. If you're struggling while I'm doing it, just make sure that you keep finessing, keep blending, and you will eventually get there. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.